Hi guys, uh, it's Delroy here with the R&R Group. Just wanted to give you a quick video on down payment and just kind of break down the exact amounts you need to do a home purchase, okay? So the actual cash you need in your pocket, in your bank, under your mattress? No, just actually in your bank account, okay? This amount of money needs to be in your bank account. You cannot purchase a house with cash from under the mattress unless you're doing it 100% in cash. If you're doing any type of loan, your money needs to be in a bank account, a savings account, a stock account, some type of an account. Um, so let's just start there. Make sure if you're thinking about purchasing a home in the next month or so and you have money that's laying around the house, you need to get into a bank account, okay? But today the main focus is going to be down payment um, and the amount you'll need to put down to purchase a house. Today we're just going to talk about a basic FHA loan, which is a government-backed loan and the minimum down payment for that which is normally the loan that most um, home buyers, first time home buyers um, use or even second home buyers um, it's, it's the most commonly loan used today which is the FHA and is, um, it's a 30 year fixed loan okay and it is 3.5% down payment amount. Okay? 30 year fixed, meaning the whole time, once they tell you your payment, it's not going to change, okay? The amount of money you need to put down, 3.5%. Okay? So, what does that look like in real numbers? If you're going to do a home purchase, if your home purchase is 300000 that means your down payment amount, 3.5% of that, this is now your down payment amount. 300000 you need $10,500 down, okay? And just a quick side note, um, Just to, to be involved in doing a home purchase, um, your minimum credit score needs to be 600, okay? The things that, with my buyers anyway, a lot of the time it, it's mandatory for, every case may be different um, if you're a more experienced buyer, but you definitely want to have inspection, okay? So. Um, so you want to have three to four hundred dollars in there for a home inspection. The inspector is going to go out to the home that you're buying. He's going to check the electrics. He's going to check the plumbing. He's going to check the roof. He's going to make sure the structure of the home is okay. The gutters are all working. Um, just all of the different things in the house um, that could be a concern to you. You're going to need four to five hundred dollars for the appraisal. Okay, so the appraisal is going to be the mortgage banker. Um, or the, the company providing you with the money, they're going to send an appraiser out to the property. They are going to make sure that the house you're purchasing is worth $300,000. The bank is insuring their money, that they're going to get their money back. And if you don't pay them back, the asset that they have, that they've given you the money on, is the value is where it needs to be. So with, with all those numbers, so let's see, I've got a calculator here to cheat with, but... Um, so 10 that plus so this plus let's say 300 plus 400 so you're at 11,200 total to do a home purchase. If you have any questions about this or there's something outside or around um, questions about down payment or loan types, I'll be happy to help you. Um, drop them in the comment section below, subscribe to my channels, I'll try and provide as much information about the real estate industry so you can build wealth through real estate um, as I can through the r, &R Group and our channel. Thank you for watching.